Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of our Albog Biki Kayimo Then gentlemen, this is episode 13 and this one is going to be very interesting because we have four games. The first one is in the DPU Pokalen against Aspek away and then we have three league games. Why this, interest, um, this episode is so interesting is first of all the cup game is very interesting because first of all it's a cup game. Second of all, it's the semi final so if we win this, we are waiting in the final, and the third reason is because we play against Esberg, and we just, I think, three days ago, in this career mode, played against them, um, and lost, for some reason, second choice team, and we lost, and it was a very disappointing loss, because they're not, they're one of the worst teams in the league. So, not only do I want because uh, to, win, to win, because it's a cup game, but also because we could go in the final if we win this, and we want to take revenge on Esberg. The second reason is the three games we have are interesting because right now we have 26 games, at uh, 23. After these three games today we have 26. That means we have played against every opponent twice and we of course we are not 100% sure what will happen after we play against every opponent twice because 26 games seems not enough for a full season. Especially because we would end it in March already so it's quite early, normally you start end like in May to June. Marsh would be two months earlier than any other career mode, uh, any other league, so it would be very early. Um, the second reason could be, or the second thing could be that of course we play against every opponent three times. That wouldn't really make sense because normally you play against them the same amount of home games and away games. Three times wouldn't really make sense and four times wouldn't make sense because it would be 50 plus games. So we were really unsure what will happen and Noah had a look and said that they are going to play playoffs. But I had a look at the calendar um, after I stopped recording last episode, yesterday's episode, and what it shows after these three more league games, after this month in, uh, um, in April, sorry for my English today, in April, May and June, in these three months we have 13 more league games. So the calendar tells me that we actually play against every opponent three times. So once again, I'm very confused. Um, we'll just see at the end of this episode, after these three league games, we all together are gonna have a look at the calendar to hopefully understand what the hell is going on in this league. But maybe there's actually somebody who might be helping us, who may have some knowledge. It is Martin Lundholm. I hope I pronounced the name correctly. It shouldn't be the most difficult. I had more, but I had a lot of problems already pronouncing some names. So Martin Lundholm, Mund Lundholm. Um, tell me if I pronounce it correctly. He's new in this community. I have no idea how he found my channel, but he somehow did. And I guess he's from Denmark because he's also an Arbuk Biki fan. He's actually an in real life fan. And uh, maybe he has some knowledge about it, but there's another thing he told me, and this is this comment I want to show you. Dude, I got an idea. Can you maybe buy Nikolai Thompson or Kasper Kask back to Arbuk? The thing is, Nikolai Thompson and Kasper Kask, as you already said, um, both played for Arbuk before, not that long ago actually. And both of them are playing for Copenhagen, at least in the start of this game mode, I think. They are both played for Copenhagen. So it would be very interesting because both Danish, both have played for this club before, both playing for Copenhagen, our main rival. So I think it would make a lot of sense, especially because the Kasper Kast dude is not too interesting. He is a winger, not the most amazing one, we don't need one. But the Thompson dude is a center mid, a good center mid, and he is high weighted, around 70 weighted in the start of this K mode. I mean our center mids right now are 170 weighted, so he would be very high weighted already. With at least 78 potential so he might even get to like an 80 which is definitely enough for this game mode because again the league is not the most difficult one so he is definitely somebody i will have a look at i will both uh, put them both on my shortlist and of course scout them the next transfer window is in quite some time so in around like four or five months so right now nothing will happen but Definitely very interesting, especially Senna Matt Thompson. And I want to hear from you guys maybe if you like that idea to bring back players, good players that have played for Alba before, like for example these two, if you or if you would disagree and say no, I would like to see new players like Garcia or whatever. So that would be very interesting. And that's basically all I want to talk about. So I will quickly put them on my short list and start scouting them. And then with our first choice team. Imo, Garcia and Slov are a bit tired, so um, I'm not sure, I mean, I just have to play them. I could maybe play with Anna Wilson, so our center had we have problems. Garcia got sucked in in the other game against them just after, like, I think, 5 to 5 minutes. Slov played the full game, so both are tired. I might have to think about it, but I don't think I can really change anything. 
So I might just have to play like this. Alright guys, here we go, we are playing away against Esbjerg and it is a bit snowing a bit, not that much. Again, I would love to have a full white pitch. It's not really too white, so there isn't too much snow unfortunately. But it is of course a must win game, I want to take revenge, I want to get into the final. Whoever wins the other semi-final is gonna be um, into, uh, difficult to beat because they are only uh, mainly good teams. So we probably will have a very difficult final. But of course it would be quite funny to win the cup away in season 1. And we are close to doing it because especially if you beat Copenhagen with your second choice team in round 1. You definitely should be beating uh, Esbjerg with your first choice team. Otherwise that would just be embarrassing. Um, didn't change anything on the center mids. They both are very tired. Oh, almost the quite start, but I'm missing the header. Both are really tired, but there's just nothing I can change. And the Valsner need him in three days against Wenders in the league, so there's nothing I'm changing. So let's see. Fernandes yeah, goes. Can he score another one? No, he scored a lot of them. Zar maybe. In the end, we do have a second big chance. Again with Sa after Kanazisko shot and this time unfortunately it got blocked. So we start off good, but we didn't score. Okay, deflected ball. First chance for Esbjerg. Thank god we didn't concede and now we might have a counter attack. Sa stopped this one for no reason. Oh god damn I have to sneeze. <coughs> it's over. He not the scheiße. Good start or good end to the first half. Now it's getting fucking BS. The last, the ref should have blown the whistle already. There were, I think, two minutes injury time, and we've been definitely over these two minutes. And we had some kind of space. Wanted to shoot with Slav, but he got blocked, and of course he got injured. Probably a broken ankle. Another center mid, too. Like, we don't even have another center mid. We only have three center mids, and now one center mid is injured, and his backup is injured. So that means two things. First of all, I mean, and for this game there isn't a big difference except of that we have to put Anna Wells in here. But for the next game, for the next game against Wenders, what now? Uh, did I press something? Oh, I did press something wrong. For the next game, look at this. I mean, we had some space. The slide tackle. I mean, one slide tackle. And of course he has to be injured. Fuck's sake. The thing that means is in the next game against Wenders, we have to play with a very tired Anna Wells and Telufsen. Two a striker and a left mid in our center mid position, and the striker being very tired and the left mid being 57 weighted. Ah, oh, I hate this. But yeah, let's at least please win this game now. Fuck's sake. Of course, another center mid too. At least in every other position, we would have a good replacement, but of course, has to be another center mid. Clever. Out to Garcia. Good shot. Third chance for us in this game, but another good save by the goalkeeper. It's still no no. That's it's making me a bit nervous. It's making me a bit nervous because they have more stamina. So I think in the long time, so like, like let's say in the last 15-20 minutes, they're gonna have a lot more stamina, and that's gonna be a problem. I would love to score soon. Not sure what happened there. The strike had a chance, fell down, but it wasn't a penalty. Bit weird. Maybe now, the pass to Saar, come on, Saar has the pace, first touch is good enough. He should be faster than this dude. Oh, thank god FIFA CPUs are still retarded and love to slide tackle in the box. Nothing would have happened there probably. For no reason he slide tackled, Saar has taken that opportunity, gets us a penalty. Just when I said it would be cool if we could score recently, we now have a big chance. I hit four penalties so far, all went in, all, um, every time I shot to the top right. So I will do the same, because yet there's no reason to change it up, and that, of course, was a miss. Yeah, GG. This episode is getting better and better. First, the injury. I did not aim the... I mean, I did aim top right, like 45 degrees, and I'm very much sure that I did put a decent amount of power on that. No, that's not good. Last with another save, we are 10 minutes before the end. I don't, I, uh, I mean, I'm very surprised that we are not winning yet. I really expected this to be an easy win. Maybe Aspect is actually not that bad because they beat us last game a few days ago and now they again are very, very difficult to beat and to play against. Even though they are one of the, uh, thank God, one of the worst teams of the league. So 
Not sure, maybe in the league they are shit, but against us they are for some reason very good. There is much time left, our stamina is kinda down. Oh, it would have been offside too, but... I don't want to make a substitution. We do have a lot of tight plays, but I don't want to make a substitution. Like, look at Kaliber's stamina, it's basically at 0%. And we do have a lot of plays with 0% stamina, but... In a few days we do have a very important league game against 4th place, uh, Wender, so... That's probably game over, guys. Well, wow, we just probably lost against Esbjerg again for the second time within a few days in the fucking semi-finals against Copenhagen with our first uh, second choice team we do win, but against Esbjerg with our first choice team we actually gonna lose. We have five minutes to somehow score a goal or we lose. Wow, this is. I mean, I'm not really sad, but I'm very confused. I did not expect this. I will go for the cross. We do have some tall players inside. It's good enough. One. Shoot! Something! Bulky was on the, on the ground, but somehow they get the ball out and there we go. I can actually not believe that this just happened. We just lost against Eschberg twice in within a few days. They had one shot on target, which just makes sense because last made two saves too, but... Statistics wise, they had one shot on target and we lost. Burnt we won, so it's going to be burnt we get as I can actually not believe what just happened recently. Oh, wait, it was the quarterfinals. Okay, then sorry, I'm retarded. I actually thought it would be the semi finals, so then I'm not that angry, but. Why did I think it's the semi finals? Um, I cannot ex um, understand what happened recently. We last episode started off amazing with the win. And then we had against Copenhagen, such an unnecessary loss. Lost against Esberg twice now. We had three losses in a row. That's very disappointing. Um, well, that's it with the cup and that's it with first place. So, if we win against winners at least, we can basically make sure that after 26 games we will be in the top three. Because we are already five points in front of them, so, yeah. Um, hopefully we can win and finally end this bad run. Even though we have to use our second choice team in a bad way. Is he, if he's injured for a long time, 7 months of course. 3 months for freaking um, uh, Davis and 7 months for Sloth. Wow. Not even like, I mean, first of all of course injuries. Then of course both in the same position with Zenimates where we don't even have that many. And the third thing of course being... That they are both injured for 3 and 7 months. Um, I was thinking about one thing. Noel told me that this Christensen dude we loaned out is quite interesting. We do have some money, we don't need it. So, there would be an option to go to Christensen, this dude, stand him at 60 rated, he is at least better than other players. I have to do it. We call from loan, I have to do it. We need him. I cannot not do it, I need to do it. So, we, I will pay the money to recall him. Um, guest tens and six weighted. I don't have a different option, so he's gonna be in here. So I don't know. Right now, things are a bit unlucky. Let's call it unlucky. Not good. The save, of course, they get the rebound, the pass back, and someone we do block. First good chance for Wendis. And it almost would have been a goal. If not Larsen, they got an our goal, would have made the save and got once again a chance. So. Oh, I'm actually really nervous. Like, I'm normally not too nervous because I don't care that much. It's yeah, just a game. Of course, I can, I will get angry, wait, whatever, but I'm not getting, like, nervous. I'm mostly chilled, but I really don't want to lose this game. Because if I lose this game, like, four losses in a row, what, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing with my life if I lose this game? We need to freaking win. Oh, thank God, last move, another save. What is going on right now? No fuck's sake! Wow, we just were not able to get the f ball out, and then such a random tackle. And of course, it's yeah, it's a penalty, but so retarded. Let's see, we missed one. Maybe we can save for now. Left. Yeah. Oh, wait. I actually have no fucking idea what happened. I first thought yes, we saved it. Because he went to the left. Then I actually thought, no, we didn't save it. Because our goalie, I don't know, that was just weird. Did he just actually miss? Did he actually just lob it be, uh, next to the goal? Come on, where are you? Wait, he actually missed. He actually went for the Panenka. 
So that idiot is first of all going for the Panenka instead of making a normal penalty and then still misses. Like this is the worst thing you can do. It's already embarrassing to miss a Panenka because the goalkeeper stays in the middle and saves it. But to miss a Panenka by not even scoring, not even getting the ball on goal, is one of the weirdest and most embarrassing things I've ever seen. This dude will get a lot of hate, I tell ya. This dude will get a lot of hate. But thank god they missed, so at least it's the no no. But we need to take control of this game again, because right now it's just a question of time when we concede, because we cannot make one decent tackle at the moment. Right now they have every, uh, chance every like two or three minutes. Come on Among, you're Pacey. The first time we're playing with him, can we maybe score? Among in the first game I'm playing with him is finally scoring to... It looks quite weird. It looks like his um, his teeth are black too, which of course isn't the most beautiful thing. So maybe I just looked it wrong. Maybe it was um, just a shadow, but it really looked like his teeth were black too. But he has the pace. L look at the teeth. You saw that they are black. But there we go. Among with a nice finish. Yes, just before of time. Not deserved at all. But who really cares? We take the lead. And hopefully this time we can actually win after we took the lead. Because last time we took the lead, of course, we did lose. So this time, hopefully we win. Alright, half time. It's gonna be a one nil for us. Um, not deserved at all again. They had at least 10 chances. They had a penalty. They had a lot of chances. But because they were retarded, at least the penalty taker was retarded. Last made a lot of saves. And we, uh, we scored our, base, I think, only chance in the whole game. We somehow are winning this game, but we had so much bad luck recently that a little bit of luck is quite nice. Like, it's a nice change. So, I, I do like it. Come on, let's... Oh, yeah, that wasn't bad. And the Welton actually has a chance. And the Welton will score it! First among, and now in the Welton, because we have four strikers on the pitch. Because one of our strikers playing left winger, the other strikers playing left center mid. But then the Welton with the strength, and that finish is beautiful. Twice from the left side, twice with the left foot, and to the long post. First among, now in the Welsen. I just said how undeserved this is, and boom, we score. Tuna, this should be the win now. This definitely should be the win. If this is not, come on. Nice. Yeah, what is my... Okay, it's fine. It did work out. Who cares? Mm, it was well played. Another chance. And he only hit the water bottle. I still have no idea how we are getting the clean sheet currently because they had a lot of chances but of course even after 85 minutes if it's 2-0 they might still get this the pass wasn't too great oh, we were 2v1 and then I made a bad decision that's my bad that was my bad fuck's sake that should have been the third but even after 85 minutes even if we win 2-0 after 85 minutes it's not probably over because they're still gonna have two feet chances in the last five so we still need a uh, decent amount of luck, otherwise they still can come back. Oh, well, look at this, we just cannot defend. How many chances did this dude have already, the number 9? He had at least already 15 shots. Like, he is one of the worst like, I've seen. The amount of chances he had, and all of them missed, is quite embarrassing. 9 to 3 shots, and 2 to 0 goals. I don't know how we're winning, I have no idea. Pass it through. Among. Let's try and shot. Maybe can Mang. Good shot. Saved. What the save? Okay, I just... I was 100% sure this is the third. Crazy good save by the goal. Fino would be game over. Even with the amount of chance. Among almost with a goal. And then... I think... I don't know who this. I think it's Christensen maybe. The shot. And that is like a, a crazy good save. He's jumping towards the goal. And still somehow saves this. On the line too. Like look at where he saves this. This is on the line. Crazy good save by the goalkeeper. Puts them, holds them in the game because again, Fino is game over. What a save. I was one of, I was already celebrating. Come on, Amang. Use your pace. Yeah. He's too pacey. Short post. Finish. The post. So now we start missing chances too. The cross. The punch away. The weird thing is actually, even though we had a decent amount of chances and did score two goals, I don't even think we had one shot with Sylvester. Another chance, this is game over, it's Meilinger though. Sylvester is like doing nothing, even though we had at least 10 chances now as well. Meilinger is doing nothing. 
Amang now with the assist, he scored one, almost scored another one, now he, and again he almost scored the second. Hit the post this time and now the pass. Among Enneverts, Meilinger 3-0. They still had at least twice as many chances, but we are scoring this the big difference. A 3 0 win. And now we can be 100% sure that we are finally ending this lost week with a nice win against 4th place and therefore making basically sure 100% that we are going to finish in the top 3 after the 26 games. We're going to get 2nd or 3rd. The question, is if we, um, the question will be if we can get 2nd of... Um, oh come on, I can't remember the name of the team who is 2nd yet. You know what team I'm talking about, Michelin, Michelin. If he can get second place of Michelin or not. But we will finish at least third. Ooh, and another chance for them and they score. That was amazing, the attack, the, especially the assist. I really wanted the clean sheet, of course we won't get it, but the slide tackle pass inside and then the first touch and that finish. I gotta say this was an amazing attack. They did, this, they did deserve the score because of the amount of chances. They did deserve this goal because this was a beautiful attack. But of course I wanted the clean sheet, but every time you just cannot get the clean sheet for last because we always have to concede in the last 10 minutes or so. We have blows the whistle, we got 3 good points. We deserved that I think, kinda, I'm not 100% sure. Look at the statistics, I mean they actually had not too many shots, but again the statistics, you should not trust them, they are most of the time complete BS. But we got our win, finally another win. And yeah. Okay, we got some good and some bad news. The good news is Michelin actually only got it twelve, so we are currently second place. If we win the next two games after 26 games, would be whatever happened second place. Of course, then we have to see what happens afterwards. On the other side, Brentby did win the first game. So a draw is enough to definitely make sure that we at least will not drop down to anything worse than third. They actually lost against Brentby after the winning against winners too, so that's nice. A must win. First choice team, except of course, um, we got playing for um, Davies, but if this is not a win, I don't know. Saar scores after 29 minutes, gives us a lead. Gersens and Kananza scores with yellow cards already. We're winning one after half time, there is not that much time left. Um, a few substitutes in Christ Janssen, unfortunately, equalizing for them, so we would still make it sure, but a 12 would be a bad result, a disappointing result. I don't know why, is, why we are drawing a lot of games, but the last three games are simulated. We've, I think we only got one point, or two, but I don't think we did win one. And because of this, we are still probably going to be third at least, but Michelin can get second back. Why can we not freaking win a game when I fucking simulate? It cannot be so difficult. Alright, uh, Michelin actually, I'm not sure what game it is, but one of the games they did win and what game, one of the games they did draw. So they either in the 25th game got a draw and then in the 26th game got a win, or the other way around. The only thing we know is, if we win this game at home against Freiburg, and we fucking should fucking once win a fucking simulated game. So I'm for saying fucking so often. We will finish with second. Um, if we lose and Brent base winning, I mean we're still gonna do it. But we only need to win this shitty freaking game against a team who somehow is getting a draw against Copenhagen. But losing all the other games is one of the worst teams in the league. First choice team. And we're playing at home. It has to be somehow possible that we once get a freaking win if we simulate. Cliver did score after 8. 30 minutes played, let's see. Arman, of course, I mean, what? how is this happening? Basically, Saar is going, and Arman is going so crazy that he's getting a wet cut after 35. But okay, it's still 2 0, not too much go going. Clivers goes to third, and therefore we are gonna win this game easily. Why did we not able to win other games easily? Injury on their side, 3 goals. We did it, guys. We finally did it. And therefore, after 26 games, we finish a second place. Nice one. GG. Alright guys, we are in the 2nd of April. We're first gonna have a quick look at the league table after 26 games. As you can see, if you care about any other team um, below, let's say, Wenders, then you can see, but I don't care too much. Nerdsland is actually not doing too great. Some teams have already played 70, 27 games, so it looks like... Noel, you told me they have a player system, but it looks like FIFA does know that and just continues with the league. I don't know, but uh, we end us with 42, Brentby with 46 after 27 games, so they lost the 27th game. 
uh, 30, uh, 48 of course for me to land 48 for us, but our gold defense is a lot better. Copenhagen actually did lose the last game and therefore the gold defense got down, so we're only one goal behind them now in gold defense and only six points behind them. So who knows what's happening, but the second place is very good. I can be definitely happy with that. We're now going to have a quick look at the calendar. If you look at the calendar, you can see we have five games here, five games here, three games here. And then the season is ended. So it looks like in FIFA you just play against every opponent three times. And not sure why, but for example, Nurturland is the next game away. Nurturland away. Let's have a look. We played against Nurturland, of course, twice before. We played away, then at home, and now away again. So it looks like you're in this league, or in FIFA, you play in this league against every opponent three times. So you have 39 games, doesn't really make sense in my opinion, but it looks like this is what's happening. You play against every opponent three times, and if you play away in the first game, you're playing twice away. If you play at home in the first game, you're playing twice at home. Um, this is BS, this is complete bullshit in my opinion. But it looks like this is how it's happening, so I don't know. Uh, you, I mean, this um, maybe one of you has more knowledge. Tell me if this um, league system is retarded or if just FIFA is retarded. Because if FIFA is doing what is happening in real life too, and this is how it's happening in real life, then the league system is retarded in my opinion. Play against them three times, 39 games. Who has 39 league games in the season? And who is playing against the opponent three times and you actually have not the third game in neutral um, um, like stadium, but twice at home or twice away and just once away at home. It's just retarded. And... I don't know. Either the Slick system is retarded or FIFA is retarded. But this is how it looks like right now. Alright guys, if you did enjoy this episode, then please smash the like button because that would help me out a lot. If you are new and want to see more, then of course I think you know what to do. Um, I might continue actually with this. I might not even make it Citadella, but really continue with this. I haven't decided. But tomorrow, either this or Citadella. There are quite soon some, um, uh, some special kind of videos, more in real life ba football based. And... Yeah, I don't think there's too much to say. Clever with 10 goals, only 2 goals behind will check, so maybe we can get him to the top goal score. Um, you can tell me if you have any kind of knowledge about what is happening in this freaking league. Except of this, you can also of course tell me what I should do with the sentiment position. Um, there's nothing else I want to talk about, so have an amazing day guys. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm actually kind of sure I will continue with this K-Mod. And uh, bye guys.